So here we have the graph of a parabola. We're told various inform bits of information that its axis of symmetry is along at x equals negative 5 and that the point negative 3, 8 lies on the parabola. We're also told the form of the equation of the parabola, y equals x plus a all squared plus b. So first of all, let's look at an animation of the graph y equals x squared. So here we have a graph of y equals x squared. Here's the form that we're given in the question, the plus a plus b. And we've got sliders for the value at present. I've got a being 0, b being 0. So we have indeed got y equals x squared plus 0. That's just y equals x squared. Now, the value a, let's change values. Let's look at x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, all squared plus 0. So as a increases positive, the graph slides to the left. If we subtract values or add negative values, it moves to the right. There's x minus 5, all squared. So a tells you the value of a tells you how far to the left or the right the graph y equals x squared moves. To the left when it's positive, to the right when it's negative. The value b at the end, when you're adding 3, it moves up 3. Adding 4, it moves up 4 units and so on. When you're subtracting 1, it moves down 1 unit. Subtracting 2 down two units. So the number at the end moves the graph y equals x squared up and down. The value of a moves the graph to the left and to the right. So here we're back given the diagram and the question. You can see that the if there'd been a graph y equals x squared it's been shifted to the left by five units. That would mean that a has value positive five. So for part B, we certainly don't know how far up the graph has gone. There, There's y equals x squared, and it's been shifted 5 units to the left, giving a equals 5. But we don't know how far up it's been shifted. All we do know is that negative 3, 8 lies on the curve. So, so far, we know that the equation is y equals x plus 5 squared plus b. So how do we use this information that negative 3, 8 lies on the curve? Well, for the point negative 3, 8, x has the value negative 3, y has the value 8. So these two values satisfy the equation. So if we substitute these two values into the equation, eight equals negative three plus 5 all squared plus b. The only value we don't know in this is b, so we should be able to find that. So let's simplify. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. Think of a number line. If we're at negative 3 and we add 5, we'll get to 2. Remember, no calculators in this part of the exam. So 8 equals 4 plus b. Subtract 4 from both sides. So b must have value 4. So we now know, this is not required, we've actually finished the question, but we now know the equation is y equals x plus 5 squared plus 4. In other words, 
the graph y equals x squared has been shifted 5 units to the left and 4 units up. So this point here, which we're not asked for, would be negative 5, 4. Some questions you are asked for that. But anyway, a is 5, b is 4.